Here are the seven fatal mistakes or the solutions to seed germination troubleshooting. At number one, you are using non-viable or old seeds. If your seeds have not sprouted within the appropriate number days, then most likely or the most common reason could be, the seeds have lost their viability. Always check the expiry date, or best before date on the seed packet, and also, always purchase seeds from a reliable garden store. This seed viability issue can even be due to improper storage of seeds, like in moisture, which can cause them to rot or mold. Another important point to remember is, the seed pod maturity, especially if you are planting seeds from a fruit or vegetable. A fruit or vegetable develops from a flower after pollination and fertilization process, and is nothing but a seed pod. At number 2. Wrong planting technique. Planting your seeds too deep can cause problems with sprouting. So, what is the ideal depth for sowing seeds? The rule of thumb is to plant seeds at a depth equal to two times or max three times their thickness. Also, it's better to plant seeds too shallow than too deep. You should also avoid pressing down on top of your seeds after you plant them. At number three, bad seed starting potting mix or soil. This is a very important factor for success rate. Starting seeds in garden soil alone is not recommended because this soil is too compacted and hence the seeds cannot sprout. Also if it contains large pieces of stones, wood and stuff like that, it can prevent the seeds from sprouting freely. And moreover, this soil is full of harmful pathogens that can affect seed germination and the health of the young seedlings. Many gardeners suggest baking this soil in oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes to kill most weeds and pathogens. But this will also kill the beneficial microorganisms like mycorrhizae and pseudomonas from the soil. So, it's always better to prepare your own seed starting mix without using garden soil. One such recipe you can follow is, cocoa peat or peat moss about 70%, plus compost, like decomposed cow dung or vermicompost or both, about 30%. This is more than sufficient and the best seed starting mix. You can optionally add other stuff, like perlite and fine grade vermiculite into this mixture. Alternately you can also use seed starting cocoa peat pellets which can be directly transplanted into soil when the seedlings are ready for transplant. At number 4. Wrong temperature and wrong season. This is another common mistake most of us commit. Planting by the season, depending on the zone you live in is really important because the temperature is a very important factor for seed germination. Temperatures that are too high or too low can cause problems germinating seeds. So, try to follow the planting calendar of the zone you live in. At number 5. Improper watering. Seed germination is highly dependent on watering. If it's too dry, they fail to sprout. And too wet, they will rot in the dirt. Seeds need to be moderately moist to sprout, and this in fact is difficult to assess. Also very young seedlings are very much tender and can die due to improper watering. The best trick to water these is using a bottom tray method. Just keep the bottom tray filled with water and do not water from top. If the potting medium is dry, it starts to absorb water through the drainage holes and this process goes on and is completely safe method of watering, seeds and tender seedlings. At number 6. Dirty or unsterile containers or seed trays. For a better success rate in seed germination, it is always wise to use a fresh or new container or thoroughly clean the old containers before adding the potting mix. Fungal and mold infections are the most common infections from dirty containers. If infection occurs, you will notice a fuzzy growth on the top of the planting medium. You may also notice that, a seed sprouts successfully but later, rots at its base and falls over. This is called damping off and is caused by a fungal infection in your soil. To clean your old containers, you can use hydrogen peroxide or even use your kitchen baking soda like one tablespoon per liter of water and clean the containers with the solution. Or simply, clean it with soap and water or even a diluted bleaching powder. At number 7. Role of sunlight. Do seeds require sunlight to germinate? Well, for most of the seeds, sunlight is not required for sprouting them. Dark, damp and warm conditions are best for the sprouting stage of germination. But once the seeds germinate and two new tiny leaves are out, they require sunlight. You must follow the a hardening off method, which means a gradual exposure to sunlight, like one hour for the first day, 
two hours for the second, three hours for the third and so on to provide full sun exposure. Please give a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Also share this with your fellow gardeners and friends. Comment below with your feedback and queries. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!